Hi, this is uh, Michael Branson Smith. I'm actually doing this broadcast from my porch. So hopefully uh, in Brooklyn, hopefully the um, data rate will be good enough, but I thought I'd give you a little quick look at it. Um, this is my, my neighborhood porch. You might be able to hear from across the street. That's where my kids are at school right there, way over there. Oh, dog's walking by. So um, this is for uh, my DS-106 class at York College. And anybody else who's interested? Oh, yeah, and I'm wearing my gift T-shirt. Yes, we're going to be learning one of my favorite ways to make animated GIFs. Also, if you've never done it, look at how you might um, find resources to download for uh, YouTube to, to, to uh, make some animated GIFs so from, from film and television. So, I'm going to start with, I have this uh, favorite oh, truck coming by. Sorry about that. I'll talk a little louder. <laughs> um, I'm going to switch frames here. Oh yeah, very loud, very loud. Uh, that's the Eastern Bag paper. There we go. Okay, so um, I have here uh, a Woody Woodpecker cartoon that I, I've made a couple of gifts from in the past. And it's all about how Woody ends up stuck in the winter with uh, a, a cat. And they get so hungry, they spread over how they're going to try to eat one another. Because they get snowbound. And it's a This hungry kitty I'm cat. That hungry little kitty cat you just read about. <laughs> I'm so hungry I could eat a, a woodpecker. Yeah, that's it. So this is the one of the, what I hope to loop, is this little moment right here. This right here, okay. Uh, it's nice because the 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 smoke animates over and over and over again, and it's going to be easy to make a loop. But first, I have to get this piece of video. Um, there's lots and lots of different ways to download video from YouTube. My current favorite way is using a, a tool called um, PawnTube. That's P W N uh, YouTube Pawn YouTube P W N YouTube. Um, you literally can replace. You can put PWN in front of the URL in the URL. So if I add PWN, PWN into this URL, it talks about, it shows all the different versions of the video to, to download. All right. Um, but I've actually, uh, there's an even easier way. You can uh, uh, open up, add a, a, a quick link. Sorry. You can add a bookmarklet uh, to your browser that allows you to, when you stay on the page, and when you click on that bookmarklet, it gives you all the different versions to you can download. So um, I, I previously downloaded, so I'm not going to do it now. So once you've downloaded it, now you can work with it, and you need to be able to trim that little teeny piece of when they're salivating over the op possibility of eating one another, the cat and Woody Woodpecker. Um, so, I'm a fan of using uh, QuickTime Player, but you can use um, also FFmpeg, which is a really great uh, trimming tool, and it's free software. Um, but I've used QuickTime for a long time, so I'm going to use it. It's the same idea. So I'm going to open um, this Woody Woodpecker cartoon. And I'm going to find that little bit of salivating Woody Woodpecker. Right there. All right, so here we are. I'm kind of moving, using my right arrow key to move frame by frame now. And I hit the letter I to create an endpoint, and then I keep going. And I'll back up, and I hit the out point. And now I have this teeny little bit of area that I've decided I want to use and I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to make a new video player and then I'm going to paste it and now I have this bit all by itself and I'm going to save this little bit hungry kitty 
And so now I have this uh, piece of a video that I want to try to figure out how to loop. All right. So this is where I'm going to use Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop 5, but you, the, these tools are pretty much available in most versions. Um, and we're going to import the video. Uh, file import uh, video frame solaris and I'm going to nice car going by um, that piece of hungry kitty alright now the first thing you have to do is make sure you choose a number of frames I tend to limit since this is a fairly long clip it's like a few seconds you don't want your animated gifs to be too big so I'm going to limit this to every two frames alright and right away we just play it because I have this animation window open, and if you don't have it, it's a, you go to in, Window, Animation, and you'll see that animation window. So I'm playing it. I hit play, and I can see how it's doing. It's doing pretty well. It's looping and looping, but I can clean this up a little bit. I can see at the, there's the little bit of the bubble fading out, and I can do that by just getting rid of unnecessary frames. So in the beginning, I can delete a bunch of frames. I'm going to just delete frames 1 through 8 here. So what's most important is that right after he smacks his tongue, I plan on, on looping. So somewhere after frame 24, I think we're pretty good. And if I'm really picky, what I can do is I'm going to look at the, the, the smoke inside say one side of the kitty cat right and figure out where they match up because most animations are built on looping pieces of, of, of drawing so they kind of loop these pieces those the smoke over and over and over again so to find a good spot is what I'm going to do so we'll back up one so that's the previous frame So one, the first frame is where there's this little dot in the middle smoke, so I just want to follow from that at the end. There it is. So I don't need 25 and 26. So I'm going to take 25 and 26, I'm going to delete these frames, and say yes. All right. And now I'm going to just say file, save for web and uh, devices, make sure I have GIF selected. Make sure I have forever selected, and I'm going to hit save. Now, you should also check out the size of this GIF. This comes in at 2.2 uh, megabytes, which is not too bad. But if it's too big, you can always resize the whole frame. And I'll show you how to do that with this other one I'm going to make real quick. So I'm going to say uh, save, uh, hungry, dash, kitty. And there we go. And uh, this one, this is what it looks like, if you want to see. Here's the Hungry Kitty. Um, also from this one, I, I, I found, uh, this is in the midst of, of course, you know, these two are going to try to kill one another, to eat one another. And the cat's trying to uh, chop off Woody's head, who's uh, playing kind of whack-a-mole with the cat uh, on a stove. And this is pretty fun. So it, this one was a lot of fun to make an endless loop out of as well. Animations are really great to find endless loops, They're, because the animations are usually built on repeating uh, assets, drawing assets, to save time. So you can, if you can find a, a, a little loop in a drawn asset, then you can use it over and over again. All right, so I have actually one more I want to do. This, this is just another technique on how to reverse frames, um, doing basically the exact same take technique, but we're going to reverse some frames. Um, I'm going to this time use a, a piece of video that I already uh, downloaded. It's a uh, it's a piece of video from the movie uh, Deliverance. In this moment, um, John Voight has already scaled, done the whole through the through tonight, scaled the uh, scaled the cliff with his bow, and he's trying to get the high ground so he and his remaining friends can escape. Uh, without being shot, and he's at this given moment, he's about to try and shoot uh, the man with his shotgun, and he's he's never killed a man, and this is this is Boyd's anxiety coming through about this moment, 
And so what I want to do is loop this endlessly, this bit of him shaking over and over and over again. And so now this is this is this is a, a person. It's not an animation. So this is an imperfect uh, loop. So if I I'm going to close the, uh, the Woody Woodpecker one, and this time I'm going to import uh, the John Voight bit. And this one I'm going to use all the frames. And again, it makes a, a nice, this is a very big uh, piece of video. We're going to have to definitely make it. So this is, uh, there's 18 frames here. I'm going to make this smaller. There we go. And when I play it, you can see that there's a little jump, all right, as it goes from frame 18 to frame 1. So this is actually pretty easy to clean up. Um, by uh, copy and pasting some frames and reversing them, okay? So first I'm going to decide if I need to use all of these. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use all of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to skip the first frame, all right, and copy frames 2 through 17, all right? Because those are the frames that I'm going to repeat. You don't want to have frame 18 repeat twice and frame 1 repeat twice, so I'm picking the frames that are butted between the beginning and end, okay? And I'm going to copy them, and then I'm going to uh, select the last frame, and then I'm going to paste those frames, and I'm going to paste after the selection, and then, without changing, unselecting them, I'm going to reverse those frames, all right? So now, it's a lot longer, it's a lot more uh, pieces, but now it's, it's a uh, it's a perfect loop because you're using the reverse frame so that the so you're kind of uh, tail ending them back to back to one another so it, it's it's it, the shortened version of this was if I think of the letters frame uh, frames of a b c uh, a b c where uh, let's say a b c d so you're going a b c d c b a and then it's an endless loop that way that they're kind of matching up with one another now this doesn't always work if you have something in motion that uh, like is moving forward or backwards and suddenly things will go forward and back and forward and back. But that can be to an advantage too depending on the type of animation you loop. Um, this is quite large so I'd actually have to resize this. So I'm going to say image size so you can see how to resize this. I'm going to make this, um, it's uh, 1280 uh, pixels wide so I'm going to change this to 600. Uh oh. Sorry. That's 60,000. There we go. All right, and it re reduces the size of all the frames, and now that's its full size. And the same thing on a save for web. And click save. I'm going to put this in deliverance, and then wait. Shapes. All right, and there we go. And this is how uh, this is how this one turned out, which is pretty cool. So um, that's it, um, students in my section. Uh, see you. Gosh, so I'm going to broadcast again on Monday and Thursday to check in and kind of show some student work on Monday and see how you guys are doing. Um, have a good week. Make some annotated gifs, 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 pronounced gif, or I actually say gif. Um, so, from my porch, have a good rest of the day. It's beautiful out. Hope you can get outside. Bye-bye.